So we have discovered in my previous video that surface area is the area which lies at the surface of my three-dimensional figure. Yeah. So I'm not talking about um, about volume. I'm not interested in the inside. I'm interested in the area at the outside of my figure. Now in this case, what kind of a figure is this? How do we call it, if you like? It is a cuboid. Yeah. Which is a three-dimensional rectangle if you want, okay? Now, I have to find the area of all six faces. It has six sides, do we see that? Yeah, it has the front and the back, that's two, then two on the sides, which is four, and then top and bottom, and that is six, okay? And I actually always use my hands like this, yeah, because that just makes, uh, then I understand what I'm doing, okay? So, let's start, I'll, I'll put a big one here. Yeah, let's start with the front side, okay? Area of a rectangle, length times width, uh, base times height, so 8 times 5. Okay, let me write it down. 8 times 5, that is 40. Yeah, I'll worry about the unit at the end. That is 40. But hang on a minute. On the back, yeah, the back side is the same. Yeah? That's a cuboid. So the back side is also 40. Yeah, I'm going to write it down like this, and I'll show you in a minute why. So I have 40 and another 40. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the sides, okay? So that is 7, 7 times 5, and that's also a rectangle, okay? 7 times 5, write it down then, 7 times 5, that is 35. And I realize that the right side equals the left side, and that's one of the properties of a cuboid. So I have another 35 on the left. And then finally, yeah, I have the bottom and the top, which are also rectangles of 8 times 7, and that's the area of the bottom. Okay, 8 times 7, and that equals 56. And I have the same area at the top, also 56. Alright, now why do I choose to write it down like this? Because I always check did I forget one of the faces? Did I forget one of the sides? Because that is a commonly made mistake, unfortunately. Yeah? I have one, two, three, four, five, six areas over here. And indeed, a cue board has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, six faces. So I didn't forget any one of them yet. Yeah? I always check my work. I just, you know, I just want to be really confident about what I'm doing. Okay. So what is the total surface area of my cue board? What is the area of all those faces together? Now we have to add it. Okay, so that's a, that's a column addition. I don't need a calculator for that. That's just going to waste my time, isn't it? So that is 5, 10, 16. 16 plus 6, that is 22. Okay, let's put that 2 there and then you carry it. So that is 6, 10, 13, 16 plus 10, 20. 6, 262, the unit centimeter square. I'm just gonna write it there because it doesn't fit anymore. 262, which is the total surface area. Yeah, that's the area at the surface, at the outside. That is the sum of the areas of all my faces. All right, I hope that was useful. I have another example question for you, so make sure you have a look at that one as well. Good luck.